back everybody. So today I am doing this fall eye tutorial. It's kind of a mauve dusty, rosy, pink look. I don't know, I just felt really inspired by burgundies and pinks today. So without further ado, let's get So I'm going to start out with a little bit of a different order today. I'm going to start with my brows. I'm using the Browsings from Benefit. I really used to hate this product, but now I really like it because you kind of have to get through the first layer of wax to get to the good part that actually helps form your brows. So I've kind of figured it out. It's just something you got to work with. And I'm just going to blend out the wax with a spoolie before I use the blending powder just to get out any little clumps that have kind of been left in my brows because my brow hairs are very long and I keep them that way because they are so sparse. And then I'm just using Give Me Brow to add a little bit more volume to them and I use the color 3. And I'm going to take this Match Perfect Concealer and I'm going to just use a little built-in brush and I'm going to carve around my eyebrows just so it covers up any of the little crazy hairs that are kind of poking out. And it just gives it a much more finished shape and just blending that with my fingers. So now I'm going to start with the base for my eyes. And I'm using this Vintage Plum Color Tattoo with this little densely packed shadow brush. And I'm just going to put that all over my eyes. I like these color tattoos because I can use them as a shadow or I can use them kind of as a MAC paint pot type product. So they're really good as a base for holding eye shadows and they don't crease and I'm using Beverly from Colourpop and I'm going to put that onto a little blending brush and I'm going to use it in my crease. Um, a lot of people don't use Colourpop in their crease but you can make it work with a synthetic brush. Now I'm taking Dusty Mauve from the Lorac Mega Pro 3 palette. This is my ultimate eyeshadow color. It's so matte and so smooth and creamy. So wonderful. It's that perfect matte pink that you see on Instagram all the time. I'm just packing that on my lids. I'm going to take a little bit of hickory on an angled fluffy brush and I'm going to put that in my crease to just darken it up a bit and add a little bit more dimension. You don't want too much but just enough to blend it out and kind of take some of the redness out of the color pop color that I used and I think you can still get those eyeshadows but not for long. So I'm taking this cream color out of this Physicians Formula Quad with an angled brush. I'm just going to use that to blend. It's a really nice satin white color. And now I am using the Revlon Color Stay Gel Eyeliner to just line my eyes and create a wing, you know, as one does. Just real, real basic with the eyeliner. And then I am going to curl my eyelashes and apply some primer. This is the Tinted Primer from Benefit. I'm in love with this stuff right now. And then I'm going to use some Ulta Mascara that is Voluptuous Volume. And it is in like Blackest Black or something like that. Um, I got it for free in one of the goodie bags. So yeah, I really like that mascara. I'm using the That Gal Primer. I really want like a dewy finish underneath my matte foundation. I know that's kind of contradictory. But I found that it creates a really good smooth surface. So I'm using my Matte and Poreless Foundation from Maybelline, and I'm dotting that all over my face. And then I'm going to use the Sigma F80 brush to blend that all out. I've never done my foundation like this with a brush like this before, but yeah, I really liked it. So I'm just going to blend that all over. The brush is really nice for blending foundations like this. I want to try it with some thicker foundations. Um, but I think everybody has kind of seen this brush. It's always sold out on Sigma. So, yeah, it's really nice and densely packed and a really good brush just to blend, like, really fast with. So now I'm just going to do my highlighting and concealing. This is the normal highlighting and concealing that I do in just about every tutorial with my NYX duo. And I'm just going to blend that all out with my fingers, so nothing too complicated there. So I'm using my ColourPop bronzer in Paradise Cove as my contour instead of the NYX one that I've been using. I just like this one. It's a little bit warmer, but I think it looks really good with this highlight and it helps create a lot of definition for me. It's really good for pale skin and that's one thing I appreciate about ColourPop is they cater to a lot of different skin tones. And they always have swatches of all the colors on different skin tones, which I wish more websites would do so you know 
what you are getting when you buy the product. So I'm just going to contour my temples out a little bit and under my bottom lip. I'm just going to blend it all in with my fingers because, you know, ColourPop works best with your fingers. So as a highlight, I'm going to use Jelly Pong Pong Highlighter. I wish this had a color name on it, but it's just kind of a pink color. I'm just going to use the applicator it comes with to brush it on, and then use a flat synthetic eyeshadow brush to blend it out on my cheeks. I found this a really good method for this, and you can use your fingers as well. So as a kind of blush slash highlight, I'm using this um, skin Illuminator from NYX in Narcissist, and it's a really pretty sparkly peach color. I'm going to set that all with some MAC Fix Plus, and I'm using Viper from ColourPop. This is um, Ultra Matte Lippy. I really like this color. It's a very dark berry, and it's really super nice on the lips. It's very smooth, and I think this is the best application I've ever done of a liquid lipstick on my channel, ever. So we are slowly improving. So that is the end. I hope you guys enjoy. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.